All right, we're back in Hyperdash. Seems like the news is not working, so <laughs> we'll be looking today at custom games, which the first time I've heard it was quite interesting because Hyperdash kind of depends on the servers in order to run the matches with other players. Like here in server browser, you have so many based on the city, location, ping, stuff like that. Now, it seems like every person can create their own custom game in order to play, for example, with less people or maybe with friends just by their own rules. It definitely helps a lot when you want to play with someone but you don't know at what servers they are apparently in the future there's gonna be like a friend system like everything is gonna be like slowly rolling out now that we are officially on quest but the feature might be actually fun so what is it about custom game this creates a custom game where you set the rules you can edit more rules once you've created the game in the lobby okay region is gonna be Amsterdam just makes sense I'm just pretty much next to it create a game okay so we teleport it here it's actually nice to just like you know walk around with just no one explore because I've never like walked around here because there was such a mayhem going on and just chaos with other people and just no time to chill and just like relax so it seems like we can choose the mode we wanna play Oh yes, that music. Are those actually official sponsors? I can't tell. <laughs> it's like comedic style of this game or I wonder. So we can choose our own gameplay mode. Oh, I actually didn't know that maps are fixed depending on their mode. That's interesting. Player count is gonna be one. <laughs> I mean, I'm choosing... No, I want to bot Sally, yeah. Emily. Mutators. So it's like basically modifiers to the gameplay. Like, always max dash because normally you have to pick it up from the map. Low gravity. Instant pickups? Wait, this is actually interesting. And the sprint heal on kill? Hey, I wish normal mode would have it. Let's go put piston only. Heal on kill, of course. Half damage? Yeah, why not? Instant respawn. Let's turn up everything. <laughs> I want to start. Can I? Oh, oh, no. Where are you going? Do I really have to actually have a second person? Damn, that blows. Five minutes later. Alright, I just got an info from their Discord that you can play alone with bots on training server, but not like this. This is like gathering people and stuff. So it's gonna be pretty much the same. Like here is the same settings. You have mutators and just everything that you want to try out. So let's do, I guess, classic, which is stadium. So mutators that I did. Let's see. I've never tried this game actually with like those mods. So max dash to gravity. I Kimbo, we'll see. <laughs> One, so we are red, so I'm fighting blue, okay. <laughs> Watch me lose by bots. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> is it sad that I enjoy playing with bots? Playing with players is cool and fun, but like, if you really want to kind of like enjoy more slow paced gameplay, like, gameplay with bots seems to be like the thing. Give me this control point! Mine! As well as. We have this half damage mod, so it's way longer to kill people now. <laughs> like, the game's actually more slow paced than it is normally. <laughs> you have time to think. It's like playing slow mo dash. It's funny. Because it's just like not the hyper dash that I'm used to. Mine. Ow. I guess that's why you can have your own custom servers. To just play however you want. Or like what suits you. It's like people are just walking and that's it. <laughs> Assassin! Ah, uh, can't catch me. Oh. 
<laughs> Blue team has captured <gasps> It's like kinda anticlimactic in a way. Like not everyone is just like dying by just one shotting. It seems like just a normal shooter now. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this. I don't know, it's weird to play something that is very much competitive and just like in multiplayer spirit with AI, I guess. But pretty much the update was that you can just customize your game for other people to enjoy and it's gonna appear on this server browser just like for other people as well. Either with password or not, up to you. So I guess that's essentially just transferring training modes for the public, I suppose. That works. I wonder, because I was always curious about just the hosting or just like the dynamic in Hyperdash, because the game started out with like six servers now there's like i don't know even maybe 100 who knows but now it's kind of like you can create more and more because people can do it by themselves so i wonder if their like processing power or just like servers can handle it because i'm still not sure how's the dynamic of it but like it works i guess i did not try with other people but judging by the ping and just like how the servers are allocating on the world it should just be as good as the official server so cute i'm definitely interested in future updates because this game like blew up when it released of course as I would expect so. Keep up the good job.